Let's take a closer look at the National Hurricane Center's new forecast cone. First, head over to the National Hurricane Center's page. Then you'll want to navigate down to where it says Ernesto's Warnings Cone Static Images. When you click that, you'll see the current path that is operational. But look at the top here where it says click here for the new experimental cone. When you click that, the new experimental path shows up. The new path is now projected out to five days. But notice how Bermuda's hurricane warning is also on this map. Since Bermuda is so small, it's kind of hard to see. So let me show you a better example. This forecast graphic was from Hurricane Ian in 2022. Again, this is just an, an example. Here, you'll see the new changes to the forecast cone are much more noticeable. You can easily see the blue, red, and yellow colors inland, which highlights the tropical storm watches and warnings, as well as the hurricane warnings in the southeastern United States. The NHC is hoping by emphasizing a storm's impacts along counties and regions that are filled in, it will help pinpoint more clearly the potential impacts to people living in these areas that are under these watches or warnings, and that will help them prepare faster and easier. It's also important to remember that the Hurricane Center wants you to know that impacts can extend far away from the forecast cone.